Hey everyone, Chell here with Prismatic Powders, and today we're discussing anti-gas or outgassing primers. Specifically addressing the question of should you still outgas your parts even if you're using an anti-gas primer? And the answer to this enigma is yes. And because the answer is yes, you likely have some questions like, why do I even need an anti-gas primer if I'm going to outgas anyways? And that's a fair question. And the answer is found in understanding what the anti-gas primer was designed to do. The anti-gas primer was not designed to completely remove the outgassing step, but it was designed as a primer that could absorb some outgassing bubbles that occur in the outgassing process in a way that other primers and powders cannot. In essence, it offers some forgiveness for your transgressions should you not perform your duties perfectly in terms of part preparation. But let's back up a little bit. Why do we outgas anyways? We outgas parts that are very greasy or oily. Even if they've been degreased, there can still be trapped oils that will gas out. So it's a safeguard. We also outgas cast and galvanized metals because even though on the surface they may appear clean, the manufacturing process of these metals creates a condition where contaminants get trapped. And if you don't outgas, those bubbles will get pulled through your coating and ruin your finish, and you will be angry. And for this reason, eight out of 10 people choose outgassing rather than being angry. But sometimes you just don't outgas long enough, and that's where this primer can rescue you. It can only do its job while it's in a certain state of elasticity, so there's a window of time for it to work before it comes too firm to absorb any more gas and smooth over, and that's why you can't skip the outgassing step altogether. You'd probably get away with it on lots of parts, but there will be times where you have parts that are too full of contaminants, and skipping the outgassing step will mean that the primer can't keep up with its plasticity, and that will begin to change and in these cases you'll still get bubbles and finish. So think of it as a go-to when you need a primer for that extra protection for any job that needs to be outcast. It's not a replacement for outgassing but it's another safeguard against a ruined finish from outgassing bubbles. All right that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.